the hardest hit nations in the region. We've seen yet more measures out of Spain and of course we're ever watch watchful as to the situation in Italy. Yes, it seems like the situation has dramatically changed in Europe over the weekend. You now have two countries in full lockdown, Italy and Spain. One country in semi-lockdown, France. In Italy, when you look at the number <clears throat> of deaths, they are now above 1,800 and you have nearly 25,000 cases. Italy has announced an increase in spending to help um, companies deal with redundancies, unemployment, childcare costs, delay some taxes. In Spain, also, we went under a full lockdown over the weekend and a state of emergency for 15 days with full control by the Spanish government. And the borders across Europe are not yet officially closed, but several countries, including Germany, could actually restrict access and increase the controls at the borders, which of course would mean a temporary end of the Schengen zone where you have uh, free travel within Europe. Caroline, tell us a little bit about where you are in France because we know you guys have the municipal elections as well. Yes, and that was a very bizarre weekend in France because on Saturday evening around 8 p.m., the Prime Minister said that uh, all shops and restaurants and non-essential public places across the countries uh, will be uh, shut. But at the same time, we did have these local elections taking place today in France, even though the turnout was much lower than usual, just around 38 percent, but people they still came to the polling stations that despite all these concerns around the COVID-19 in France, the situation is also increasing uh, rapidly. We have more than 5,000 cases officially at the moment, 120 deaths. Uh, tomorrow, uh, schools, nurseries, universities will be uh, closed. Uh, the uh, finance minister could announce further measures. Uh, some media are expecting mm -hmm. a package of as much as 40 billion euros to help the French economy. And it is possible, of course, that France will also go in full containment, in full lockdown in the next few days. It was New